big day today. <coughs> I've got an upgrade for my CNC machine, as you can see. Um, I've changed the normal spindle for this 65mm spindle. Drop my Makita router into it. Um, I'm going to take it for a spin, see if I can reduce this piece of 18mm uh, material down to 10mm. I'm going to take 4mm off the top and 4mm off the bottom using this bit, which is a, uh, a quarter inch diameter um, shank. Uh, and it's got a 15 mil cutting width on it. So let's see how it goes. So I'm in Carfco Maker. I want to create a new model. I'm going to make it uh, 240 mil wide. 90 mil high. Uh, I want the origin to be the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to switch to the 2D view. Prefer working in 2D. And I'm going to create a rectangle. And I'm going to make it again 240 mil wide by 90 mil high hit create the next thing I do is want to create a tool path clearance area tool bath and I want to make it four mil deep add my tool now the tool that I'm using wasn't in here originally so I had to add it in but you can pause the video if you want to know what uh, what details are put in for it So it's an offset. The material is eighteen mil. Call it thickness. Nine, ten minutes. Not great, but I've got plenty of time. I've got to be honest with you, I don't get on with this uh, calf coal maker at all. I've been experimenting with Fusion 360 and I'm definitely going to make the switch. I do not get on with this software. Just It just doesn't work for me. Uh, I'm going to try simulation. I suspect it's partly my fault. I don't really understand what, how to use it. I don't, uh, don't use it enough to understand, but Fusion 360 seems, I'm not going to say easy, but more intuitive. So this is what I mean by it's just, it just doesn't work for me. It's just, it just doesn't seem right. And it's not my, it's not my computer. My computer is fairly high spec. Should easily cope with this simulating a, simulating a cut.
Yeah, I'm going to suck that off. Just uh, give it a go, see how it works out. So, I'm going to save the G-code. Name it Thickness. Hit save. There we are, good to go. Close it down. Okay, so I've connected the machine. Hit go, and we're off on the first pass. This is what the first side looks like when I finished. Takeaway from this is that I should have made my vectors, my the rectangle if you like, bigger than the material, so I wouldn't have any any of this uh, material to remove around the edges, and I perhaps should have overlapped more than seven and a half mil, which is half the the the, the diameter of the bit, so I wouldn't have that. Bit left over in the in the centre. So I'll peel this off now and uh, remove all these edges and get on with the second one. Second pass on the other side. Second pass is all done. Uh, same problem again. You know I've got the bits around the edges and a little bit in the middle, but it's easy enough to remove by hand. Just uh, pair it off with a sharp chisel. Give it a bit of a sand. Job's a good one. So, uh, first time out with the upgraded router went great. Machine performed well. This uh, this de desktop CNC is just not skipped a beat at all. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Absolutely made up. My only one criticism, uh, and it's not really a criticism of the machine, is that it's a bit small. I could have done with a bigger one. But hey, next time. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to click thumbs up. If you don't like it, click thumbs down, obviously. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.